So there is another really interesting question uh, for investors that did EP5 before. They asking that if they are waiting for I-526 approved, not yet to get approved, can they do the concurrent filing in the U.S. and what the benefits? Yes, and many investors are taking advantage of that benefit. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you would come into the U.S. in lawful status and then prepare your application for filing. Once you file, you get a receipt notice in two to three weeks. So after that point, you're considered an AOS applicant and your children can go to school once they're AOS applicants and you can remain in the United States. With the AOS, you can also file for work and travel authorization. So when you remain in the U.S. and your green card application is being reviewed, you will have the right to internationally travel and to work for an employer. So we've done a lot of these for many families. Perhaps they already want to put their kids into school in the United States. Or maybe sometimes we have adult children that are applicants and they're studying at the university. And for them to get work authorization is super important because it's easier to find a job and they are just as competitive as their American counterparts. They don't need a sponsor. Mm -hmm. So you mean that even with clients who submit their I-526 uh, before the new law, they can yes. still do it? And what about the, the benefit for the children? They can still uh, go to school, public school, and have free Correct. education. So you can't go to public school if you're a visitor, mm -hmm. but once you file an adjustment of status filing and you get that receipt notice, now you become eligible to go to public school mm -hmm. at no cost. Wow. After they got the approval of uh, AP or AUS? No, even before that. Even before So that. while the AOS is pending, mm -hmm. they can go to school. Okay. That's good. La, for the uh, I-485 receipt? Yes. Okay. That's yes. cool. Mm-hmm.